All right. Well, Josh, I mean, it doesn't feel like fall quite yet, but it's considerably cooler than it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. closer to what we should be right. seeing for the end of September, but you know that pendulum that's swinging mm -hmm. aggressively? It's starting to swing again, huh? Hey, yeah, it's going to be going the other direction. Uh, so, I thought so the autumn yeah. rains, the cooler temperatures there on the horizon as we soak up that warmer sunshine right now at 73 degrees. A few high thin cirrus clouds starting to march their way back into the I-5 quarter, and that's going to be a trend that we see going through the rest of this evening. So so if you're wanting to take your four legged friend out like Oliver here, you can expect to maybe grab a light jacket, especially after sun says those temperatures slide back into the mid 50s with calm, quiet and clear conditions. Speaking of the sunset tonight, a big milestone for us. Our final seven o'clock hour sunset and now from this point on, at least until winter, we are expected to see more nighttime hours as opposed to daylight. So that pendulum in the light department also swinging quite aggressively as our hazy skies are that of distant memory as the clear conditions still remain up and down the I-5 corridor. And you can see all of that wildfire smoke still remaining its way further off to the east. That's going to be the case through the end of the week and really even into the start of next week. But that does not mean that our fire threat is completely washed away. A red flag warning still remains in place through 11 o'clock this evening. Gusty winds nearing about 35 miles per hour with relatively low humidity values. Thanks to that onshore flow creating down sloping winds for our friends to the east, keeping that fire potential elevated as our wind gusts are relatively calm through the Portland Vancouver area. But you can see those easterly winds starting to get funneled through the Columbia River Gorge with Hood River experiencing wind speeds at about 30 miles per hour right now. Out towards the Dow's anticipating those winds to slowly taper back through the rest of the night into the start of the day tomorrow, as many of us are left with slightly cooler conditions. Thanks to that onshore flow this evening, mid 70s up and down the I-5 quarter and that brings us to a temperature difference over the past 24 hours down anywhere from 10 to almost 15 degrees in many cases. We're going to continue to hold on to that cooler weather pattern with the exception of Saturday poking our head back up into the 80 degree territory but those mid 60s for some of the coolest daytime highs we've seen in quite some time finding their way back into our area for the end of September and the start of October as we've been sitting above average in the temperature department by just over a degree or so this month thanks to a few of those 90s sprinkled in and our rain deficit holds steady at more than a tenth of an inch but we could be shrinking that as we move our way into the end of this month all as we prepare for an atmospheric river a very weak one to start to take shape out over the Pacific Ocean just a friendly reminder the atmospheric river the flow of moisture from the state of Hawaii across the Pacific ending up into the west coast and is one of the driving factors for our most rain accumulation that we see all year. So from Sunday to Tuesday, nearing about a half inch of moisture, a very real possibility is the clouds will start the day tomorrow. We'll break that down quickly. Sunshine returns, then a few more clouds in the mix as we approach our way into Saturday. But that's just going to be filtering out some of the harshest of the sun's rays, very similar to what we're seeing today as we climb back up into the low 80s. 50 degrees tonight, increasing clouds tomorrow, just about the same as what we saw today, mid 70s for us. And our seven day forecast painting a more autumn like picture for us. Clouds increase on Sunday. We stay mostly dry until after sunset. Right now, the timeline has us bringing those first few raindrops back to the region by 10. 11 o'clock in the evening, ramping up Monday, October 1st on Wednesday, a high of only 66, and it will be rainy at times. So Mother Nature says summer's done, autumn is officially here. Yeah, this That's is right. the time of year we start to see those daytime we temperatures do. now start to cool down. Yeah. Finally falling into place. I'll keep my thoughts to myself. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.